Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today I'm going to show you how I took the dungeon coach from this to this. Time out. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. And if you really like this video, check us out over at patreon.com slash fry minis. Five bucks a month gets you PDFs and more and it helps us keep going. All right, a little while ago, my friend, the Dungeon Coach, launched a Kickstarter, a hugely successful Kickstarter, Al Kander's Almanac of All Things. It's full of super interesting homebrew tweaks for D&D 5e and is available for pre-order right now. We've got a link in the description. But one thing that I thought was really interesting is that Al Kander is actually based on the Dungeon Coach's main, like, lifelong D&D character. Alcander, a purple dragonborn magic user. That's such a super cool touch to include something so personal uh, in a product like this. I really, I really like that. So I was honored when the dungeon coach reached out to me to paint Alcander and his purple dragon mount. He sent me a printed copy of Artisan Guild's Scramax the Battle Mage and Scramax on Ornifax the Majestic and I got to work. I'd encourage you to watch the whole process, but I do have timestamps in the description if you wanna skip ahead just to see the final product. At a high level, we're going to clean up the mini, we're going to assemble the mini, we're going to prime it, paint it, and varnish it. And that all sounds so simple, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so here, let's go paint Alcander and his purple dragon mount. Okay, we have to first start off assembling. So we're getting all the pieces into place so we know what we have and what we're working with and we get a general idea of how we're gonna end up. We wanna fit all the pieces together. So this is a 3D printed mini, so that means there might be some defects. So sanding things down, carving them up, and then gluing it all together once we've established a solid fit. Next, we're headed over to the airbrush to do some priming. Uh, we don't want to put paint directly on a mini generally, uh, especially on a 3D printed mini. So this primer here will help the paint stick to the mini. And don't forget to always clean <laughs> your, your airbrush. You want to fill it up with some water, spray it out, gargle it almost, and then empty it out. And then you can start over. Now we can start doing layers and layers of purple. So we're going to build up. We're starting with a dark purple to establish that over the black. And then we'll do layers of purple where we mixed in more and more of a light color until we get eventually into like a nice kind of purpley gradient. And you can see how it's really coming together as this lighter purple color. Uh, we wanna do different tones between the wings. Uh, this is kind of the wing color. And here's what it looks like <laughs> with all of our basing done. So this is just the base purple. We really want to focus on the wings. We're going to do more colors on the rest of the body. Okay, so now we're moving to the belly scales, these big, thick plates. And we're going to go with a white theme for these. So we've thinned this paint down dramatically, and we're going to end up doing multiple coats. I'm not going to show you all of them uh, because it's just painting over on top of itself a lot. Uh, I'm using probably a smaller brush than is necessary here, but I really wanted to make sure we had a high level of control with the brush on this because this is such a, a special mini. So we're just painting over and over. We're taking some red just to establish a base coat inside the mouth. We're going to coat the whole mouth and the tongue with red. And eventually we'll also do the eyes off camera with a little red dot and then build up on there too. So this is just the base red for the tongue. So we're actually applying a very, very thin down black wash, where it's almost a bluish gray at this point. Uh, that's going to go into the recesses and bring back some of those, uh, those low lights, the shadows in the scales. Now we're coming back with that original whitish color and we're doing our highlight, our edge highlighting. So we're going around all those lines and we're kind of building in even a little more texture. And that's on top of that wash. A little bit of pink on the tongue just to finish it off there. And now we're going to start painting in our base colors on the claws. So this is just a little tan that we'll build up in a couple coats. We'll also apply it to the teeth and anywhere where we have like a claw or horn or hook. Okay, time for our main kind of body scales color. So we have a thinned down, a very, very thinned down uh, metallic purple color. 
So this is going to go right on top of that base purple that we've already done with the airbrush. And that will give us a different kind of color. We want to separate it from the wing. So it's still purple, it's still kind of bluish, uh, but it's going to give kind of like a nice coating to it. So it'll stand out and it'll give it an appearance of a different, wholly different texture than the wings themselves. And I think it, this particular shade is really cool. Uh, it works well here across the whole body. And we're just doing a very, very thin coat. We don't want to completely cover it and wipe out everything we've already done. Just a little bit of uh, simple highlighting for all that bone area, those claws, the horns. Uh, we already had that kind of base coat of tan. And so now we're coming in with a lighter uh, whitish tan. Nothing crazy here, uh, just bringing up a little bit of detail. And with the horns, we're kind of playing on the segmented areas that are built into the mini itself. A real quick pass with a different metallic for this kind of horn handle. For the saddle, we're going with a with another thinned down, uh, kind of a darker brown. We're going to cover the whole seat itself and then the strap around the dragon's neck with this same kind. And we're gonna do a couple coats. Again, we're going thin, multiple coats. We're bringing back that edge highlighting. Uh, we're going with kind of an orangish brown color here. Uh, and that'll give us just a little bit of a definition here to separate it. And we're doing a little bit of a contrast paint across the whole saddle just to, to blend us in a little bit. Switching over to the uh, Alcander minis themselves, the smaller ones, so both the rider and the standalone, we're putting on some base coats for the purple for the skin. So we generally we wanna work up, right? So the lowest layer to the highest layer, so skin, is generally below armor so that's why we're going here and we're going to do the staff a little bit too and just we're already in the purple so we're just going to touch up the hand a quick base coating on the staff of red we've got some special plans for it and remember we're working up so we're starting with a white uh, cloth here this cloth i think looks better in person cameras often have a hard time of keeping definition keeping tones of white uh, I'm not perfect but I think this looks better in person but lots of thin coats we're gonna keep building up and note it's not pure white you never want to do pure white unless it's something like a highlight or something special Alcander is very fancy so Alcander is getting some gold armor this is just a metallic that we're covering all of the armor bits in nothing fancy just keep it clean keep it smooth Then we're going to bring in a black wash again. This is watered down and we're covering really almost all of him. We're keeping it to the armor and to the skin. That's going to give us a lot of kind of like a grungy look. It's gonna make the metallic look a lot better. Another thin coat of white here. So we don't wanna to go too heavy with this. This is just to smooth us out a little bit here. We did end up applying that uh, wash to the cloth too. And so that's one of the reasons we're bringing back the white. We did some off screen work on some of the accents and the little bags and things, but now we're going to bring back our original purple and we're going to do some highlights on kind of the, the musculature and the cheeks and areas where we want to kind of bring accent to on Alcander himself. Again, a thin down purple. Now we're going to paint up these horns and the claws and the teeth and the toenails all with this kind of tan. And we'll do a couple passes. Remember, we want to do thinned down paint. So mix your paint with water or with a thinning medium if you have it. Uh, but you want to do multiple takes. You never want to do one big thick coat. All that's going to do is ruin any detail in the mini and just look really, really blotchy and splotchy. And we wanna go with kind of like a good look. So we're bringing back a little accents here with that even lighter tan, nothing dramatic. Just these little, little dips of light, I think can make a big difference. Highlighting all the teeth and the claws again.
Okay, I will admit I did not do this staff in a way that makes sense. <laughs> so we did a red base coat. Uh, we were doing a dry brush with a pink and then a white, and it wasn't going where I wanted it to. So we came in with a contrast paint just to kind of bring us into an orange look. And then I decided, okay, let's go. We have gold armor, so let's go with like a coppery brass bronze uh, look for the staff. And so we, we've painted it there again thin. So this isn't this is just like that scale. It's a light coat. And now we're bringing in a different contrast paint and we're going to give it kind of a color here that's going to tie into the magical effects of this like teal look while also giving us kind of a, a patina. Okay, so for the magical effects, we're bringing in a teal, a white, thin down. Uh, we're gonna do a couple coats with this and we'll also do a highlight line to give it kind of a zigzag of energy. Because of the special nature of this mini, I ended up doing a lot where I didn't have to worry about the camera. I'm still getting used to painting while keeping the mini in uh, in the focus on the camera. Uh, so I wanted to to really focus on the mini. So we painted up the spell book. We painted up all the little pouches and eyeballs and all the detailed kind of bits where I didn't really have room for error. So some of those things we did off camera, but nothing, nothing wild, nothing that isn't very straightforward, I think. If you have particular questions, leave me a comment and I'd love to answer anything for you. Usually I like to apply some basing effects. So some mud or dirt and plants and things like that uh, to a base. But because this was a particular mini that had some uh, rocks and things built into it, I wasn't sure uh, if the dungeon coach wanted to keep it plain or not. So I opted not to add anything special to it uh, because we can always kind of add that in later. So I like a base that is generally uh, dark and kind of blends in unless I'm trying to really focus on the basing uh, you want the focus of what you look at to be the mini itself the monster the creature whatever so a, a nice general kind of dark themed uh, base with nothing too eye-catching I think works best to keep your focus on the monster and just like we've painted both of the Alcander minis themselves to be the same character, just in different poses, we're going to treat the base itself. So we're going to do the same kind of uh, color scheme and everything. So it looks like it's all part of the same battlefield. We start with a very thinned down orange uh, paint. That's just going to give us a base to work off of beyond the black. A little bit of a contrast paint is going to bring back those shadows that we lost with the orange settling in the crevices. Next, we're going to dry brush. You get a bunch of paint on your brush, wipe most of it off on a paper towel and rub it against the raised edges of whatever you're doing. And that's going to highlight the edges, the highlights. And it looks a lot here, but hold on. So we're using some army painter here and that's going to really bring us back down to earth. So it's going to knock out most of those super duper high whites and just give us a general dark look while still maintaining a decent amount of texture. And this might be a little controversial, but I like to give my fancy minis a kind of a rim color. So here we're matching it to the dragon scales. Next, we're gluing them all together, all the different pieces, all the different parts with just some good old Gorilla Super Glue. Uh, this is pretty straightforward. And if you like, you can drill out to get a tiny little screwdriver drill and drill into the arms or whatever to get a better grip. And that usually works pretty well. Okay, so after a mere eight hours or so of work, we have a finished product. So you see what I mean about that dark base? It draws you right up and that white belly dragon scale thing that just zooms you straight up. It's a good eye line. Look at this. And kind of in an opposite way, we have so many bright color points here uh, that that actually brings our attention inward to where it's not bright. So now we're looking at his face. I think it turned out great. And I think the dungeon coach is pretty happy with it too, but don't take my word for it. I just want to say again, thank you to the Dungeon Coach for this opportunity. I've got a little behind the scenes information for you, but uh, Alan has been a huge help uh, getting Fry Minis up and going ever since the very start. Uh, he's provided tons of 
ideas and resources and, and best practices. And he's just been a, a huge uh, ally of the channel and just a really, really great friend. So Alan, thank you. And just in case you haven't already, be sure to check out The Dungeon Coach over on YouTube for all sorts of really great uh, homebrew advice and ways to customize the game to make it fit your play style. Uh, and of course, pre-order Alcander's Almanac of all things. You can order it right now. And before we get the questions on it, no, this video is not sponsored. We're just having some fun. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope to see you over at discord.gg slash fryminis. Come hang out, come have a talk. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.